We are back with another Ken Griffey Jr. hunt. This will be the final video in this series. Um, and we're going for the big one, folks. I know that it's not as fun as opening up a 1989 box of Upper Deck, but uh, this costs like a third or a quarter of what uh, a box would cost to look through a Griffey Jr. And at least I know I'm going to get one in this box. So, we are going to open this up and see what we can find. And we'll quickly run through the rest of the uh, rest of the box and find the other good cards that are in it. So, let's get to cracking. All right. So, let's see. I believe there are some holograms right here. These are all the holograms. What is this? I want to make sure. I can't remember if they go in order. Like, is this the Griffey Jr.? It sure is. Okay, so let's take this nice, let's as carefully as I possibly can. All right, so the Griffey is not the last card on this pile. There's like a spacer, it looked like. So I'm going to take all these cards out. There's a Mettingly. And we'll go through them. Okay, well, we're just going to end all of the suspense here. We're going to look at the how good the Griffey Jr. is, and we're going to just put this over here. We're going to run through these, and we'll get to him at the very end. Here's the Sheffield. Put that right there. Ron Jones, Jeffries, that's a rookie. I don't know if that goes up there. We'll just put it right there. Here's the Alan Cindy Elmer Jr. Tony Chance, Luis Medina. All right, here we go. It looks a little bit thin on the left side. Pretty, really good. Actually, it's a little thin on this side. Let me sleeve it up and protect it as best I possibly can. So I had a King Griffey Jr. card that I got back in probably 1990. I was a big fan of his back in the day um, when he was all the rage in the sports card industry. And um, I found a this card at a garage sale. And I begged my mom to buy it for me. And she did. And it was a whole $30, I believe it was, at the time. And that was so expensive for a single card. Now, you know, the prices these days, that's nothing. Um, but back then, for a kid, for a, uh, I guess I was what, 11, 12? The same age as my son sitting here. And I just was dying to have this card. And I got it. However, I kept it in a, I kept it in a screw down plastic case for 20 years, and I, after looking at it one day, I noticed that it looked like it was sort of wavy. Well, I cracked open the, the screw down, and I had no idea that there was like potentially a problem, uh, or that moisture can actually get in. Uh, and yeah, moisture had gotten inside, and the card was completely rippled. Uh, so my original King Griffey Jr. card is completely trashed. Um, so I've always wanted another one, and now I have it. You know, let's put it over here so it's not, uh, there's not so much glare on it. Okay, we're gonna quickly go through this super, super quick. Super, super quick. We're gonna pull out some Hall of Famers. And uh, yeah, please don't do that. My son is, okay. is shining the. <laughs> no, I'm just looking at the. Oh, okay. Water. All right, so you weren't trying to shine the light in my face. Okay. We got like six Dodgers. 
things, and I still have this much left. Really? Yeah. There should be. Yeah, you would have thought they'd only given us one per team or something like yeah, that. Yeah, there's like a couple of. Oh orange. yeah, I see. Oh, there's a Braves. And that, that's the third Braves. It's the old school Braves logo. I've gotten like five or six Cubs logos too. Okay. Well, there's a lot of Cubs fans out there. You know. that buys this this set I got this set off the of Facebook marketplace I paid $100 for it exactly yep $100 for it uh, so I thought that was a decent deal um, for the chance at getting a really decent <clears throat> King of Junior there's the Randy Johnson there's the Randy Johnson um, you know what I mean it's is it similar to all the other cards as far as alignment? Yeah, similar. This one's a little bit, actually, the Randy's a little bit better. It's about the same as King Griffith Jr., actually. Look at Randy and his Expos. And I just have one of my folders to just, like, Put the, fill the, it with All stickers. of them? Uh, that's what I did. That sounds fun, doesn't it? Because I did the same exact thing. Cool. So. <laughs> There's Dante Bichette. Who's, whose son is he? Who ha, who's his son? Bo Bichette. Yeah. Dante. Mo Martinez. And, oh, the John Small tricky. Um, and, you know, it's a, look at that. It's off center the other way. Well, at least the Griffey Jr. is pretty centered. I mean... We're talking 60-40, I would say, looking at it. All right, here we go. We're gonna, again, we're gonna blast through these, hopefully. Just so everybody can see, uh, you know, what you get in the set. Don Mattingly, we'll put them up there. Mookie Wilson, Brooks Kobe. Let's see, we're gonna, powering through, folks. Powering through. Another Dodgers. There's the Nolan Ryan that slip. You see that? What happened? It's a uh, like a triple picture. I don't know. Like they're make it makes it seem like it, he's in motion. Cool. You know, they thought they were so cool when they could do that on a card. It, it just looks like he has three heads. <laughs> and lots of flailing limbs. Who goes? Don. Sorry, bro. Nolan's gonna go up there. Just got back from a baseball card show uh, this past weekend up in Charlotte where me and the aforementioned Ken met and we went to the card show. It was the first card show I've been to in probably uh, 20 plus years, 25 years, I'd say. More than that, 28 years probably. It was a lot of fun. Spent a little bit of money, got some good cards. Not Ken Griffey. Opened. I got a few Ken Griffey Jr. cards. No, I'm saying Ken isn't. Ken oh, Griffey. Ken is not Ken Griffey Jr. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not buddies with Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, that'd be cool and all, but, you know. Sid. Sid will slide in three years from this card and take the Braves to the 92 World Series. That was a big deal in my life. I remember staying up and watching that game, me, my sister, and mom all on the couch 
watching to the last out, and the Braves came back with three runs in the bottom of the ninth to send the Pirates home. Sorry, Andy Manslack and Barry Bonds and Jose Lind and the rest of that team home. By team? Yep. I guess you'll, that's one way to find out. Sorry, Jose. Thanks for making that error in the bottom of the ninth, though, buddy. There's the big Mark McGuire. Look at that card. That was always a cool card back in the day. That was always a cool card. We will put that up on the stand. You know, he can be here with Roger. They can talk about stories of doing PEDs and how they might not get in the Hall of Fame one day because of it. <clears throat> These are, I have a laser engraver, and I'm trying to learn how to engrave wood. These are a couple of exam examples of uh, engravings I've done. Um, this one, I just wanted to do like just the, um, like a nice outline so that you, you know, you see what it is, you know what it is, it's sort of artistic or whatever. Um, and actually burn, like this is all burned. Can't really tell on camera, but there's actually like grooves here. And I even did the back of the card. Um, couldn't get it exactly right, but nevertheless, it was pretty cool. And this one is just me trying to burn a picture of it in. Thought it turned out pretty good. But there would. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Are you running out of space? Yep. Well, just double him up. Or like, you know, oh, hey, look. I wonder if he has his bat. We just, uh, in um, video three of the Griffey Hunt, uh, agree? Three, was it three? One, two, three, yeah. Yeah, this is five, three. Um, I actually did find the uh, error <laughs> card of, of uh, Billy that had the dirty word on the bottom. And it was, so that means that the box that I opened was a, oh, it's the box right there. Um, it was a early box because they corrected that error. And yeah, so that was pretty exciting. We also found that other one. Oh. And yeah, there was a, uh, the, uh, Barry Larkin. Um, <clears throat> the Randy Johnson uh, had the uh, Marlboro sign behind it. So that one was, uh, Pretty good too. It was a fantastic box, and I got a fantastic Griffey Jr. out of it, in my opinion. In my opinion. Although, you know, any Griffey Jr., any day that you pull a Griffey Jr. rookie card is a good day. That's what I always say. Isn't that what I always say, son? Yeah. <laughs> really, dude? Just stop talking to me. I'm just, I'm over here, I'm sorting, okay? Well, you're not me. I'm just. Doing my little thing over here. Mm -hmm. well, I'm trying to get through these cards. There's future Hall of Famer Greg Maddox and four time Cy Young Award winner. I guess that is one good thing about having just a set. You know, you're going to get at least one card of everybody. Not quite as fun and exhilarating as opening packs, not knowing what you're going to get. But there's Bo talking with his third base coach. Like, Bo, how do you have such a good arm, man? I don't know, man. I got to go play for the Raiders on Sunday. Hope you don't hurt your hip. Um, all right. George Brett, also on the Royals. Kent. Really, Kent? Really, Kent? Why well, gotta pull off Ron Gant? We should get Ron Gant's card and put them right next to each other. Ricky Henderson. 
I believe he was traded to the A's in 1989 because he was in the traded set. <laughs> There's Cal. All right, Cal should go up here. Who should he take the place of? Sorry, John. You're a buddy. Eight elk or something. He went hunting for bears. Look at bears. Okay, look. Why are they going to cut his head off? Like, what's the deal? Like, zoom out to, like, pin. Here, let me pinch it. Nope, oh, that doesn't work. Well, here, you know what? You know why he's going right here. You know who these are, right? That's the cheating the cheating stand. Let's see who else we can find to put up on the cheating stand. Tony Gwynn, Tony Gwynn and Wade Boggs, they can hang out. They're always, they always seem to, always seem to pull their cards right next to each other for some reason. Where's Kent Herbert? He was somewhere over here, over there. And Kirby. Kirby and who's on that? Gary Gaetti or somebody, I don't know. I don't know who that is. Okay. Second to last stack, Rob Dibble, Walt Weiss. There's Josie. There we go. Put him right there on that, that stand. All right. Cecil. Cecil Fielder in the Hall of Fame. Alexa, is Cecil Fielder in the Hall of Fame? Really? She don't know that, Christiana. She got the whole internet at, at her at her fingertips, her digital fingertips. She don't know if Cecil Fielder's in the Hall of Fame or not. Oh, it's not the reverse negative. Oh man, I was hoping the reverse negative would be in here. Still a cool card. I collect Del Murphy. I will throw him over there. There, Jose. Go hang out with your buddy, Jose. Sorry, my Dodgers are. Yeah, you're you're infringing on my space. Sorry, it's the Dodgers. You know, you, I really you don't. See the Astros back here. They're like. Well, here, then you know what? We need to put them, them on this stand here. Here, put one right here. They're cheaters. Put it right here. Uh, put an Astros right there next to Jose. Oh, oops. We put all the cheaters on that one. Yeah, just lean it up if you can. Or you can put it right in front. That's okay. They probably won't stay. Oh, there we go. Nice job. Yep. I got some Astros up in there. All right, we got, we got Mattingly, we got Harold Baines, Frank Viola, we got Tr Trammell, Alan Trammell, we got George Brett, Eric Davis, Mike Greenberg, Wade Box. Why would I think Mike Greenberg would be ahead of them? Uh, is that, who is that, who are you? Ruben Sierra, yeah. Andy Van Slyke. I'm gonna put him there, Mike Schmidt. Tony Gwynn, Cal. Daryl, we're not gonna put him in. We already got one of them. Is that Alvin Davis? Well, it's the last year of somebody else being the, head, the face of the Mariners. That's for sure. Corey Snyder, who will? We'll do it. Andres Galarraga, uh, Kurt. We got Rhino, Ozzy, 
Did I find Ozzy? Normal Ozzy? No, I think I did. Paul, Dale, Fred, Cheater. Put him in the back. Can I put him in the back without making him fall? Yeah, I did it. Nolan, Walt, Wally, I mean. Why did I say Walt? Wally, I mean. Yeah. All right. Oral Hershiser, Kurt, Oral, Dennis, Chris, Kurt, Oral. Leave it. I'll put it over there. You weren't Nolan throwing the football card. That's cool. Uh, yeah, we're gonna um, put it right there, and I will sleeve it up here in a minute. The way that he's like throwing it really fast looks like a basketball. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? It looks circular. Oh, it's circular. Yeah, yeah. Jim Abbott, there's another look. There's another one of those. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think that was his rookie year, right? Yep. I'll put it right here next to... If you're still with me, I want to thank, thank you for watching this far. Hope you enjoy seeing everything that you get in the 1989 Upper Deck box, including the man and probably one of the most famous baseball cards ever. Right up there with the mantles of the olden years and a few others. But anyway. That's the Griffey I got from this box. Very excited about it. Randy Johnson rookie. And all the others. I think, the, I think I did pretty well. All right. I want to thank you so much for watching. And everyone, have a great evening. Bye-bye.